Forsake me not, O Lord my God, be not afraid, be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. We welcome all those who are joining in the Mass this morning online. Sadly, we don't have people in the church on this first day of lockdown. Very difficult, very difficult for me personally, but we will try and get through it, and with your prayers, we will. So let us pray and ask the Lord to help us now to try always to do our will, to do what Jesus asks of us, that we try and always do the right thing. We ask him for forgiveness now as we prepare for this celebration. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter St. Paul to the Philippians. We are the real people of the circumcision, we who worship in accordance with the Spirit of God. We have our own glory from Christ Jesus without having to rely on physical operation. If it came to relying on physical evidence, I, would, I should be fully qualified myself. Take any man who thinks he can rely on what is physical. I'm even better qualified. I was born of the race of Israel and of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew, born of Hebrew parents, and I was circumcised when I was eight days old. As for the law, I was a Pharisee. As for working for religion, I was a persecutor of the church as far as the law can make you perfect. I was faultless, but because of Christ, I've come to consider all the advantages they had as disadvantages. Not only that, but I believe nothing can happen that will outweigh the supreme advantage of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. O oh, sing to the Lord, sing his praise, tell all his wonderful works. Be proud of his holy name. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Consider the Lord in his strength, constantly seek his face. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles, the judgments he spoke. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. O children of Abraham, his servant, O sons of the Jacob he chose, he, the Lord, is our God, his judgment prevail in all the earth. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The tax collectors and the sinners were all seeking the company of Jesus to hear what he had to say, and the Pharisees and the scribes complained. 
This man, they said, welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he spoke this parable to them. What man among you with a hundred sheep, losing one, would not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the missing one till he found it? And when he found it, would he not joyfully take it on his shoulders? And then when he got home, call together his friends and neighbors. Rejoice with me, he would say. I found my sheep that was lost. In the same way, I tell you, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one repentant sinner than over ninety-nine virtuous men who have no need of repentance. Or again, what woman with ten drachmas would not, if she lost one, light a lamp and sweep out the house and search thoroughly till she found it? And then when she found it, call together her friends and neighbors. Rejoice with me, she would say. I have found the drachma I lost. In the same way, I tell you, there is rejoicing among the angels of God over one repentant sinner. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We just ask ourselves what this Gospel really is telling us. And it's telling us, of course, that no matter who we are, Jesus loves and cares for us and wants us to be with him and has given us the sacraments to help us to remain with him, especially the sacrament of reconciliation, where we can turn to him and ask for his forgiveness and to be once again a full member of his fold. Great rejoicing in heaven, as as we're reminded in the gospel there, when the man who loses the one sheep amongst the 99 loses one, and he <coughs> searches and finds that sheep. And there's great rejoicing when he does find it. And he comes and celebrates with his family. Even though the 99 are still there, he wanted that one back in the fold. And that's Jesus is love for us. He wants us all to be with him in his kingdom, to be with him in his family. And so we take the opportunity of taking that step of asking for the Lord's forgiveness. As St. Paul reminds us how he first behaved. He was a persecutor of the church. But once Jesus spoke to him, his whole life changed. And he believes that nothing can happen that will outweigh the supreme advantage of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. Let us pray that we do know Jesus and that we do do as he asks of us, to love God and to love our neighbor. Lord God, we ask you now to listen to our prayers as we pray for the repose of the soul of B. Carleen, for whom we're offering this Mass and whose anniversary it is today. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. We pray too for all the holy souls and all the names on our November list here on the altar. We pray for all the loved ones of our parishioners who have passed away the families, their friends, and all whom they've known. May their soul to the soul of all the faithful departed, to the mercy of God, rest in peace. We ask you, Lord, to help us to always try to treat everybody equally, to treat them with love and care. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. We remember to all those who have the virus, we pray for the scientists, doctors and nurses, carers who are all doing their utmost to try and alleviate this terrible virus that's around. We pray for those who have it, those who have died from it, those who are suffering, that they'll all be well again. Lord, in your mercy receive our prayer. Let us ask Mary, our mother, to join with us as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God, our Father, we thank you for listening to our prayers. Give us the grace now to always to search for those who are the poorest of the poor, to help them in every way we can, so that we can all be with you in your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> Bless thee, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit to the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless thee, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit to the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our iniquities. Cleanse us all of our sins. <clears throat> Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father, May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in him we have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For through, though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, our clergy, and all our people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Michael, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. To save his command and form by divine teaching, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so whoever feeds on me shall have life because of me, says the Lord. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth proclaiming the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you all very much and have a nice day. And we keep you in our prayers and keep safe. Do what the Lord, Lord is asking of us and we'll all do our utmost to keep safe. Thank you.
Good morning, everybody. I had to put the sound system on so that you'll hear me at home to your homes, and we welcome you all to join with us in our celebration of the Eucharist, asking the Lord now to help us through this virus. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. To prepare ourselves for this celebration, now, we ask the Lord to guide and to help us that we try to follow his way, to do as he asks of us, and not to try and cheat anybody of their goods, and to always to be honest with them. And so we pause for a moment for those times we fail. We say together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives in the reign of you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. My brothers, be united in following my rule of life. Take as your models everybody who is already doing this and study them as you used to study us. I have told you often, and I repeat it today with tears, there are many who are behaving as enemies of the cross of Christ. They are destined to be lost. They make foods into their God, and they are proudest of something they ought to think shameful. The things they think important are earthly things. For us, our homeland is in heaven, and from heaven comes the Savior we are waiting for, the Lord Jesus Christ, and he will transfigure these wretched bodies of ours into cop co copies of his glorious body. He will do that by the same power with which he can subdue the whole universe. So then, my brothers and dear friends, do not give away, but remain faithful in the Lord. I miss you very much, dear friends. You are my joy and my crown. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. Jerusalem is built as a city strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. For Israel's law it is there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. Alleluia, alleluia. When anyone obeys what Christ has said, God's love comes to perfection in him. Alleluia. Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, There was a rich man, and he had a steward who was denounced to him for being wasteful with his property. He called the man and said, What is this I hear about you? Draw me up an account of your stewardship, because you are not to be my steward any longer. Then the steward said to himself, Now that my master has taken the stewardship from me, what am I to do? Dig? I'm not strong enough. Go begging? I would be too ashamed. Ah, I know what I will do to make sure that when I am dismissed from office, there will be some to welcome me into their homes. Then he called his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? One hundred measures of oil was the reply. The steward said, Here, take your bond, sit down straight away and write fifty. To another he said, And you, sir, how much do you owe? One hundred measures of wheat was the reply. And the steward said, Here, take your bond and write eighty. The master praised the dishonest steward for his astuteness, for the children of this world are more astute in dealing with their own kind than are the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Paul tells us of the importance of being a true follower of Jesus Christ. And for us to be true followers, he's telling us how important it is to follow his way so that we don't get lost. As he says... Take as your models, everybody's already doing this, uniting and following my rule of life. And I repeat it with tears. But there are so many who are behaving as enemies of the cross of Christ. We have to help these people, guide these people, get them to change their ways. But we do it with firmness, yes, but with kindness too, and with leadership. Show them what we are doing is the right way, as St. Paul says. He tells us not to give way, but always, always to remain faithful to the Lord, no matter what. And in so doing, we will share in God's kingdom. Let us rejoice. And when, when I heard them say, We go to God's house in the psalm. We rejoice because we are trying to do what the Lord asks of us and to do it to the best of our ability, to use those gifts that Jesus has given us. And in using those gifts, we are helping those who maybe haven't got the same gifts and need guidance and help. And it's for us to help them, to do what we can so that we can bring everybody together We had the parable of the crooked steward and how he dealt, how he dealt with himself, making sure that when he has to leave his master stewardship, he would be cared for. So he got the debtors to pay some of the money back. And of course, the the master was so pleased. And he praised the dishonest steward for his astuteness because the master realized there was no chance of getting what was owing to him. But he got half of it back, 80% of it back. That's not the way we should really do things, though. We should be honest in every way 
and do what we can, that we encourage people through following the path, the true path to the kingdom of God. We do this through our prayer, through the sharing of the sacraments. And I can only wish that we had the people here in the church to share the Mass with them. But I'm sharing it with you online. And you receive spiritual communion, the spiritual love of Jesus through attending the Mass. Let us continue doing this during this lockdown that we pray and hope that it will end on the 2nd of December and that we can come back and share in the fullness of Christ's presence in the Eucharist here in our churches. We pray to the Lord to help that this virus will be go away from us, that we can go back to our normal way of living, attending our masses as regularly as we can. And in so doing, we will be rewarded and will be called the children of light. <coughs> Lord God, our Father, we ask you now to listen to our prayers as we pray for the living members of the Thompson family, which is one of our foundation masses. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. We pray for the many people who have the virus. We pray that this virus will stop spreading. We pray for the doctors, the nurses, and the carers who are doing their utmost, and the scientists, their utmost to try and find a vaccine that will cure this illness. But let us pray also for the nurses and the doctors who have such heavy work in the hospitals, so many going to these hospitals, and they're having to work many long hours to try and heal them. We pray also for those who have the virus. We ask you, Lord, to protect, help them to recover, to protect those who have not the virus, to be, but always to encourage all of us to be safe, to do what we can to avoid the spreading of this terrible experience that we're going through at the moment. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Let us pray for our schools and our colleges and our universities. They are still being attended, but we pray that they'll all be safe in their studies. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to help us all to be true and honest leaders in spreading your message through the way we live our lives, through example, through our kindness, through our love. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. We ask Mary now to pray with us and for us as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God, our Father, we thank you for listening to our prayers, which we ask you to receive in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit to the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed ye, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit to the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. 
with humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our iniquities. Cleanse us all of our sins. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us the holy outpouring of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and our Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hand as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaken of the body and blood of Christ who may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, our clergy, and all our people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. And we remember the holy souls and all the names on our November lists that we have here on our altar. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles, St. Michael, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. To save his command and form by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you all very much, and I hope you have a nice day. And just to remind you the weekend, the Masses, we will have Mass at 12 noon tomorrow and 6 o'clock tomorrow evening, and the Mass on Sunday will be at 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock on Sunday evening, Sunday morning, I mean, <laughs> Sunday evening, 11 o'clock, Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. We wish you every blessing, and please, everybody, keep safe.